Whether or not animals are capable of profound emotions such as carrying grudges is still a matter of debate. Nonetheless, most scientists agree that animals can possess human-like psychological qualities, therefore, it is feasible for them to harbor grudges. Obviously, the question of which animals are capable of holding grudges might open an entirely new can of worms. Lions have reportedly held grudges against other lions, and cows have exhibited comparable behavior towards other cows. Elephants have reportedly retaliated against humans too. Hello everyone, and welcome to another video. Today we'll be looking at times that animals took revenge on humans. Yeah, you heard it right. A tiger tracked down and killed a poacher who shot it. In general, the Siberian tiger, also known as the Amur tiger, is regarded as the largest subspecies of tiger. From nose to tail, they can easily weigh over 225 kilograms and measure over 3 meters. In addition to being exceptional jumpers, they can scale a height of 7.6 meters without breaking a sweat. Getting on the nerves of an apex predator is a terrible notion that could have extremely negative outcomes. Vladimir Markov, a Russian poacher, discovered this the hard way after attacking one in the Russian Far East in 1997. On a hunt, Markov shot and injured the tiger, and to add insult to injury, he ate a portion of its kill. The tiger did not forget, and between 12 and 48 hours later, it tracked down Markov's cabin. The tiger destroyed everything in the cabin that contained Markov's scent and waited anxiously for him to return. When Markov arrived, the tiger murdered and devoured him. The episode remains the only known instance in which a tiger tracked down a specific human, waited for him, and then killed and consumed him. A pack of dogs vandalized a car because the owner assaulted a comrade. In 2015, a man in Chongqing, China found a stray dog in his parking space as he returned home one evening. Rather than shooing the dog away, he kicked it out of the way before parking his car and entering his residence. The dog did not take the situation of being kicked lying down. It fled, but returned with additional dogs, and they continued to vandalize the man's vehicle. They made dents in the car with their jaws and bit the windshield wipers. The next morning, when the man awakened, he was astonished to see his car covered in dents. A neighbor who witnessed the dogs assaulting the vehicle informed him of what had occurred. Truman the octopus shot streams of water at a lady it didn't like. Octopuses are clever animals with excellent vision and the capacity to retain information. They are also capable of harboring grudges and exacting retribution whenever the opportunity presents itself. The instance of Truman, a former resident of the New England Aquarium in Boston, Massachusetts, comes to mind. Truman had a strong disdain for a woman who volunteered at the aquarium, and he would shoot a torrent of water at her whenever he had the chance. A few months later, the woman came for a visit after attending college. Truman, who had not been firing water at anyone, in the meanwhile, fired a spray of water at her as soon as he spotted her. A leopard brutally attacked a park ranger for poking her with a stick. In Lake Nakuru National Park, Kenya, a female leopard became a problem after she began grazing on the livestock of local residents. They summoned park officers to capture and relocate the leopard out of concern that it would soon turn into a man-eater. The leopard was kidnapped and relocated, but she refused to leave her transport cage in the back of the pickup truck. At this point, things became unpleasant. Alexander Rono, one of the rangers, jabbed the leopard with a long stick from the truck's cabin in the hopes that she would exit the cage and flee. The leopard did not like the gesture and responded with an aggressive roar to the pokes. She even nibbled the stick at one point, but still did not exit the cage. When she eventually did, she did not run immediately. She instead turned towards the front of the truck and unsuccessfully attempted to leap inside the cabin where Alexander was sitting. Alexander attempted to roll up the windows but was too slow. The leopard jumped in halfway the second time she attempted to enter. She engaged Alexander in a violent struggle in which she repeatedly tore his face with her 3-inch claws while attempting to deliver a lethal bite to his neck. Alexander had his hand in her mouth at one point. Alexander rose to his feet and booted the leopard through the window sending her fleeing into the jungle. As the leopard continued to attack the vehicle, Alexander was severely injured and nearly went blind. His wounds required 21 stitches to repair. Alexander stated that he learned a very bitter lesson that he will never forget. He sure did. Crows recognize and attack some researchers for capturing them. Crows are adept at recognizing those that cause them grief and will frequently mock and dive bomb these individuals whenever they encounter them. 
Some researchers who were capturing and affixing identifying bands to certain crows discovered that the birds harbored grudges when they observed that the crows made noises and attacked them any time they approached their region. To confirm their theory, the researchers began capturing and tagging birds while wearing masks. Over time, scientists noticed that the corvids made noise whenever the veiled individual was nearby. The crows were able to recognize the masks even after a year had passed since they had last seen them. More noteworthy is the fact that the crows teach their young which faces represent their adversaries, such that the young crows would scold and dive bomb their perceived foes even though they have never even witnessed them catching a bird. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so that you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section down below. Stay tuned, and we'll catch you in the next video.